under 10% of the lowest income families in our country have kids who go on and make it in college. Not because they don't have the ability, but because they need support. Whether it's financial support, academic support, whatever kind it can be. When people talk about the Civil Rights Act, don't you let anybody think that it's for one group. It has helped all of America. Give that act a hand. It has helped all of America. Inclusive excellence should mean that we as an institution, we as a society, want every person, regardless of background, male or female, black or white or Asian, Hispanic, whatever, Native American, person with physical disability, you name the category, we want every person to have the opportunity and to be given the support to rise to the occasion to be his or her best. Give me a, night, a hand for the vision of all of us rising to be our best. And a part of our challenge as we talk about this inclusive excellence is to make sure that we do include every group. And I would ask you, as you think about inclusive excellence, to ask the question, what are the things that we feel very good about on this campus? When Lee talked about the student who's gonna be playing Herbie Hancock, whatever, when we talk about the science students who are doing well, whatever those positive characteristics are, the things that you can take great pride in, everybody should know them and you should talk about them. Because the more you can talk about why you stay here, why you see students succeeding, the more you can also say, but these are the challenges we need to face. To what extent are you willing to look in the mirror at the good, the bad and the ugly. The healthier a campus is, the more it's willing to say, put the mirror up, let's look at it. And the question becomes, how do we get to know our students well enough that before they decide to walk away, we can pull them back in and help them understand how we can support them. Any environment that focuses on inclusive act excellence is encouraging the good questions. And the question you must ask yourself, University of Akron, and the community, what are the questions that you still aren't asking? And even as you ask the questions, are you getting robust and honest answers from people? I want all the students to know, wherever you are, you are stronger, you are smarter than you even think you are. It is all about believing in yourself. These faculty and staff are saying to you, they believe in you and you will be their legacy. That is the point of inclusive excellence, that we want to pass it forward to the next generation. I challenge you, the University of Akron, to watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny, dreams, and values. You are special, Akron, and you can be even better. Thank you all.